This is Geography for Grade 11, produced by Tigray Education Bureau, transmitted by Dimsuoyane Tigray National and FM radio satellites and social media, and also FM Makala 104.4. How are you, dear students? I will present you Geography Grade 11. Could you prepare all necessary teaching materials? Okay. What do you remember about the previous lesson? Well, you have learned about the position, size, and shape of our continent Africa were discussed in detail. Today, you are going to learn about African regional divisions and its geological history and related issue will be emphasized. Before we begin to talk about the regional division of Africa, remember that at the end of the lesson, you will be able to identify the regional division of Africa, describe the regional division of Africa, reconstruct the geological history of Africa. 3.14 Regional Division of Africa Based on similar physical, economic, and social characteristics, Africa has five major regions, namely Eastern Africa, Central Africa, Northern Africa, Southern Africa, and Western Africa. Students, could you see it in your textbook, page 107, figure 3.3, .3, Regional Division of Africa, and page 108, figure 3.4, Political Map of Africa, and table 3.2, The Regions of Africa. Then study them carefully and try to identify each region's relative location as well as the countries that constitute the region. Excellent! As shown in the table 3.2, in terms of territorial size, North Africa is the largest followed by Central and Eastern Africa. In terms of population size, East Africa is the most populous following by Western and Northern Africa. In terms of population density, Eastern Africa has the largest population density, 49.5 people per kilometer square, followed by Western Africa and North Africa. Central Africa has the continent's lowest population density, which accounts 18.4 people per kilometer square. Students, I hope you are following attentively. Now, let us discuss with a brief description of the socio-economic condition of the region of Africa. First, East Africa. It is located between 18 degrees north up to 27 degrees south latitude and 22 degrees east up to 51 degrees 28 east longitudes. The region is the third largest in terms of its area, covered 21% of the continent's total area. A total of 18 countries of which seven are landlocked. Do you remember in grade 9 lesson what's the meaning of landlocked? I hope so. A landlocked country or a state is a sovereign state that doesn't have territory connected to the world's ocean and are completely surrounded by other nations or territories. The physiography of East Africa is characterized by diverse relief, very high volcanic mountains, extensive plateaus, Great Rift Valley and low depression dominated the region's topography. Such diverse in surface configuration has result the presence of diverse climates that ranges from desert and semi-desert types to high altitude alpine climate. This in turn has helped the development of varied vegetation zones of desert and semi-desert vegetations, tropical grasslands, forests, and alpine Vegetation makes the region rich in flora, that is plants, and fauna, that is animal resource. East Africa is drained by the Nile, Wabishavele, and Ganali River basins. It is beside the region where most of Africa's highland and Rift Valley lakes are found. In terms of population, East Africa is the most populous of all the region. It accounts for about 31.3% of Africa's total population. Nearly 22% of the region's population is urban. Life expectancy averages 51 years. The most dominant economic activity in the region is primary economic activity, particularly agriculture, 
commercial cash crops such as coffee, tea, sisal, and sugarcane are the most important agricultural products. Livestock resources are also an important source of income. Mining and industrial sector are little developed in the region. Now, students, let me ask you a question. List some of landlocked countries of East Africa. Well, if your feedback is Ethiopia, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, and Malawi, that's great. The second regional division of Africa is North Africa. It is found between 3 degree north to 37 degree 31 minutes north and 15 degree north up to 36 degree east. North Africa is the largest region in terms of area. It covers nearly one third of the continent's total area. That is the largest area coverage. It constitutes of seven countries, namely Algeria, Egypt, Libya, Morocco, Sudan, Tunisia, and Western Sahara. Among those countries, Sudan and Algeria are the largest states in Africa. All the states of this region have direct access to sea. North Africa is characterized by desert climate. Much of the area is covered by desert vegetation. In addition, the Mediterranean type of climate also dominates the Maghreb region's produce Mediterranean vegetation. Maghreb means a place of set or western in Arabic. That is, the region of Africa north of the Sahara Desert and west of Nile, specifically coinciding with the Atlas Mountains. The region's topography is dominated by mountains and plains. The Atlas Mountain and the Sahara Basin and uplands are the most common features. The population of North Africa accounts for about 20.5% of Africa's total population. Nearly 50% of the region's population is urban. Life expectancy averages 69 years. The economy of North Africa is dominated by agriculture, industry, and mining. Now, I will ask you a question. Here in North Africa, the smallest country is Dash. A. Tunisia B. Morocco C. Libya D. Egypt The answer is A. Tunisia Third, Western Africa. It is found between 4 degree north up to 25 degree north latitudes and 17 degree 33 minute west up to 16 degree east longitudes. It accounts for about 20% of Africa's total area. A total of 17 countries constitute the region. The relief of West Africa is made up of highlands, that is, the Guinea Highland and Jos Plateau, and lowlands, such as Niger, Benin, Volta, Gambia, Senegal river drain the regions. The climate of the region shows great variation. The western coast experiences tropical humid climate with very high rainfall and temperature, whereas the interior lowlands are characterized by low rainfall and high temperature. These climate conditions have resulted in the presence of diverse vegetation that includes tropical forests, tropical woodlands, and grasslands. It is the second most populous region in the continent accounted for about 29.7% of the total population of Africa. The most populous country in Africa, though Nigeria is found in this region. About 42% of the region's population lives in urban areas. The average life expectancy in Central Africa is about 51 years. The economy of Western Africa is dominated by agriculture, coffee, cacao, Palm oil, rubber, and groundnuts are among the most important agricultural cash crop produced in the region. Industrial development is limited to coastal areas. Mining is the most important economic activity in some countries like Nigeria, Ghana, 
and Guinea. Fourth, Central Africa. It is located between 23 degrees 30 minutes north up to 15 degrees 30 minutes south and 8 degrees east up to 32 degrees east. Central Africa is the second largest region in Africa. It covers about 22% of Africa's total area and possessing nine countries. A good part of Central Africa, nearly two-thirds of the region is vast deep region that is drained by the Congo Basin. The highland area is the region includes Cameroon Mountains and Rwanzeri Range. Central Africa experiences almost all types of climate of the continent except the Mediterranean type. Equatorial, tropical savanna, mountain or highlands, desert climate are among the most dominant ones. The diverse climate condition of the region makes Central Africa rich in biodiversity. Among the most common vegetation cover of the region are equatorial rainforest, savanna woodland, gallery or riverine vegetations, desert and semi-desert vegetations. Central Africa accounts for about 12.5% of total population of Africa. This region is characterized by low population density due to its climate condition. 41% of the region's population is R1. The average life expectancy in Central Africa is about 51 years. Agriculture, forestry, manufacturing constitute a good part of Central Africa's economy. But the dominant economic sector that supports the lives of the majority of the population in the region is subsistence agriculture. Central Africa has huge potential for commercial crop production. The region owns about 30% of Africa's tropical wood. A number of oil, refined, and timber process plants are found in the region. The region also has a large reserve of different types of minerals such as copper, zinc, aluminium, diamond, gold, and oil. Angola, Gabon, and Cameroon are the richest country in petroleum resource in the region. Thieves, Southern Africa. It is located between 18 degrees south up to 34 degrees 52 minutes south and 7 degrees east up to 32 degrees east. It accounts for about 8.9% of Africa's total area. Besides, South Africa is the smallest region in the continent, and the region is divided into five sovereign states. The topography of Southern Africa is dominated by a high plateau of over 300 meters high. Among the highest area in the region are Durkensberg Mountains. The region is drained by major river basin that includes the Limpopo, Orange, and Valley. There are also major inland basins in the region, including Nagam Kalari, Okovango basins. The climate of South Africa is highly diverse. There are tropical, desert, alpine, and Mediterranean climates. Mozambique and Bangalore currents produce great impact on the climate of east and west coasts of the region, respectively. As a result of the diverse climate, the region is endowed with different species of flora and fauna. It accounts for about 5.8% of Africa's total population. South Africa is the least populous in the continent. Nearly 56% of the region's population resides in urban areas. The region life expectancy averages 52 years. Southern Africa has the most diverse economy in the continent. Agriculture, mining, manufacturing, and tourism forms the major occupation of the region's population. Agriculture in the region is highly mechanized and commercialized. The region is also rich in terms of mineral resource, such as gold, diamond, coal are among the most important ones. The region has most of the mining and manufacturing industry in the continent. Now, let me ask you some important questions regarding to today's lesson. First, mention the basement characteristics that classify African regional division. 
The answer is based on similar physical, economic, and social characteristics. The continent is subdivided into northern, southern, eastern, western, and central Africa. Is the answer. Second, which region of Africa has most diverse climate condition and biodiversity? A. East Africa. B. Western Africa. C. Central Africa. D. Southern Africa. Well, the answer is C. Central Africa. Because Central Africa experiences almost all types of climates of the continent except Mediterranean type. The diverse climate condition of the region makes Central Africa rich in biodiversity. Third, in terms of area, the largest region in Africa is A. Central B. Western C. Eastern D. Northern Africa The answer is D. Northern Africa Because in terms of area, North Africa is the largest which covers one third of the continent's total area. To sum up what we have already discussed today, we have seen the regional division of Africa. Based on similar physical, economic, and social characteristics, Africa has five major regions, namely East Africa, Central Africa, Northern Africa, Southern Africa, and Western Africa. In terms of territorial size, the largest region is Northern Africa, followed by Central and Eastern Africa. In terms of population size, Eastern Africa is the most populous, followed by Western and Northern Africa. Whereas, in terms of population density, Eastern Africa has the largest population density, 49.5 people per kilometer square followed by Western Africa and Northern Africa. Well, now let me give you some homeworks in page 112 and reading assignment for the next week lesson starting from page 114 up to 124. The topic is about geological history and relief structure of Africa. See you next week. Goodbye, students.